so we'd like to end here with 7b. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 59 Methodical. In today's episode, we re-entered Methodical innovation, which can sound paradoxical, is becoming a thing in these series, not just this one, but the ones over the past many, many, many episodes. And it's both in music and in work. And Improvisation 2, which you just heard the ending of, is starting to sound promising. And we had a fun time using a Reaper, our digital audio workstation, to double check you can see the uh, the dynamic, how loud it is, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, and we where these little markers are, we actually went in and changed the score. Let's show the score. Similarly, like right there where it says lower the dynamic. And that was kind of a uh, an improvement based on, usually we do a spreadsheet where we go through and have a very detailed, what we call line diagram, and then we make a chart of it, adding up the energy factors, how loud is it, how fast is it, how dissonant is it, um, like that. So this was kind of a quicker way around. This will not show you dissonance. Uh, but it will, it, and it doesn't, sh it doesn't show you where it's fast and slow. It just shows you where it's long or shorter. Um, so we did quite a bit of adjusting, and we've uh, now got ourselves down to something like, well, whatever it said here. We've got ourselves down to three minutes and thirty-seven seconds. So what we're going to do for you is play this on the score, and here we go.
so that ends today's stream. There's quite a few things we did to Improvisation 2, which you didn't really mention. We took Improvisation 1 and folded it back on top of itself, which is why it's called Overlays. The title is Overlays up here. And if we were to show you the, uh, the rest of the annotation, you would see that we folded it back so we got doubled up parts. We also liked switching the timbres. We went from piano everywhere to harp on the cadences and oboe on the backbones. And we were kind of inspired to do that by reading about how um, the Greeks wrote poetry and where they used um, harp and a kind of a, th a double reeded instrument that would sound like an oboe basically. So our ideas for next time are to share the work to date. We made a score recording, so we open mic and to be determined. Shout outs to Luke and Nader. Thank you for your positive message today. We appreciate it. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.